Hello everyone. Welcome to Graphic Designers Workshop. Let us see how we can create a dangler in Illustrator. What are danglers? Danglers are advertisement posters or placards that are usually seen hanging from the ceilings inside shops and stores. They come in different sizes and shapes. We may have all seen inside the stores the danglers. So now let us create a simple dangler in Illustrator. So let us start. So we will be creating a document which is 8 inches in width and uh, 8 inches in height and uh, the dangler's name is farm cave so this is the name of the product and then we'll just simply click on create so we have now created the document or you can say artboard where we'll be designing our tangler so the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be taking a rectangle and then we'll now apply a simple color to the rectangle so we will apply a green color to the rectangle or something like a light green color right so then what we'll do is so we'll make it rounded so something like this and uh, here we have uh, an option uh, we want uh, only the uh, rounded corners on top of the rectangle at the bottom we'll make these uh, corners flat so for that what we'll do is uh, we will uh, simply uh, just put a value in these input boxes we'll just put zero here in these input fields and uh, simply you click on this shape here right so we want something like this right so then what we'll do is uh, we'll slightly uh, make it small right and also we'll see uh, whether it is uh, flat at the bottom or not so it's not flat so again we will uh, put the value zero but make sure that uh, this chain link is uh, broken because uh, this chain link will uh, change all the corners so we don't want that we want the top uh, corners to be rounded and the bottom corners to be flat right so now it's fine right so the next thing we'll do is so we will simply select a rectangle here so something like this so we'll center align both these objects so simply select the top object and then here we have an option align horizontal center it will align it exactly to the center of the artboard so we'll do the same thing with the bottom object select it and then simply click on the align horizontal center option here now these both the objects are centered and we will turn off the stroke for this uh, bottom object and also we will turn off the stroke for the top object right so now we will select both these objects by holding shift and we will unite them right so now we got a basic shape for our dangler so the next thing we are supposed to do is uh, we'll take a copy of this just and uh, keep it over here right so then what we'll do is we want to put an image inside this shape so where we can find the image so we can simply uh, go to file and we will click on this place and then uh, we will get the image uh, the image is this one 
this is actually a T form so this is a T form here so we will uh, use alt and shift to center scale right and what we want is we want to put this image inside this shape and I will also take one more shape so you will know why I am taking uh, the duplicates of these shapes and to create a duplicate it is simple just hold alt and drag the object so you will get the duplicate of the object right so now what you'll do is we'll first put the object or shape in front of this image so simply right click arrange and select to bring to front and now we will uh, scale the image a little bit so after adjusting the image so we will shift and select both the image and the object and then we will right click over the object and simply select make clipping mask. So now we have placed the image inside the shape. So by using clipping mask and if we want to adjust the image we can simply double click on the object and we will go inside the uh, image editing mode so we can actually adjust the image we can scale the image we can position the image in whichever way we like and after once we are done we can just click on this back button and once again we are back to this original uh, document the or the initial document right so the next thing we'll do is see I have taken this duplicate so that I can use this duplicate as a mask so what I will do is I will simply place it over this image I'll simply right click and uh, select bring to front and then uh, just I will cover it like this then I will apply a black and white gradient to this image so I will just open my uh, gradient uh, panel so here it is the gradient panel and in case you uh, can't find it on your interface you can simply go to windows and select gradient or you can also hit uh, hit uh, the keyboard uh, shortcut which is control plus f9 right so what we are supposed to do is uh, we will now select the shape and we'll select a black and white gradient here here we have we can see there is a, a black and white color and then uh, uh, we have applied it so what we'll do is uh, we'll try to uh, just move the position of this black and white color right now the next thing we'll do is we will activate the annotator so annotator is used to change the direction of the gradient or the style of the gradient so how we can access the annotator by simply hitting the command G so now we can see this line this is called annotator this is used to control the direction as well as the colors of gradients uh, colors uh, in this uh, gradient actually so let me change the direction now so just rotate it so we want uh, the black color at the bottom so what will happen if the black is at the bottom so if the black is at the bottom so the bottom portion will become transparent now we'll use this uh, black and white gradient as a mask and the gray areas will be semi transparent and the white areas will be completely opaque so whatever portion of the image that falls within this white area it will become opaque it will be clearly visible right so now the next thing we are supposed to do is we'll simply draw a selection from outside and we will select both the objects we will select this uh, black and white mask as well as the image behind it and then what we'll do is we'll simply select this opacity option here just click on that and then uh, to the top right corner here we can see a hamburger icon just click on that and uh, then we will see one option make opacity mask the moment you click it see you can see the change see the bottom part has become completely transparent this is what we want 
now we will keep this shape over this shape the first shape that we have created and uh, it should look something like this so we can adjust it properly right now uh, all we have to do is we have to put the text content on this dangler so we'll just uh, simply type something here farm cave and then uh, we'll just scale it so we can uh, use impact and also we can change the color to pure white right so we can keep it here but uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll also create a, a border for this by using this uh, rounded rectangle so simply create a border and uh, we want the border color to be yellow just select a pure yellow color so we can keep some uh, we can create something like this and we can make it more rounded here and then we will take one more duplicate by using control c and control f and then and then we'll slightly scale it just adjust it properly like this that's it right so once uh, we are done with these adjustments now we will group it we'll just select the entire uh, text as well as the shape and then just group it control g is for group and then we will keep it over here we can simply uh, make it bigger here right so once uh, we have adjusted it like this so we just need a few more things here we'll uh, get a, a cup okay uh, it's uh, uh, actually a coffee product so we need a coffee cup here or we can say coffee mug so i'm going to select this coffee mug here so here it is oh just a minute i will uh, select the right uh, one okay here it is we can scale it down or oh, let me actually delete it i will uh, select uh, a different uh, mug actually yeah then we will scale it we'll keep it over here watch just we have few more things uh, we have a caption here so the caption is chill out with chill out with a uh, hot coffee that is the caption so we'll make it big we'll use a font great vibes so this will be nice and also we will change the color to red the pure red right and then we'll place it over here right so then uh, what we can do is we can give a little bit of drop shadow to this a very small amount 20 percent or we can say 40 percent right so we have given some drop shadow right and then the last thing is uh, we want a small uh, caption here at the bottom it is uh, uh, i'll just say product 
of Indian foods. So we'll change the font here. We'll change it to impact. And we'll say private limited. And we'll keep this text uh, at the bottom and we also want it to be in pure white color right just scale it down just keep it over here so this is a simple dangler so one last thing we'll do is we will group everything so we'll just draw a selection from outside and then simply hit ctrl g now everything is grouped and we will actually uh, scale it so that it fits exactly to the size of the artboard right um, right so now the next thing uh, we are supposed to do is we will export it so we'll just uh, slightly okay uh, yeah now we'll export it so to export it simply go to file and export and we'll say export as and then we will export it as a png file so here we will select png from the drop down list and then we will just uh, put the name farm cave and we will say dangler right so now we will export it just click on export just click ok so this is the uh, dangler So this is the dangler that we have quickly completed. It's very simple and we can see such danglers in many stores, in many shops hanging uh, from the ceiling. So there are many uh, different sizes also for these danglers, uh, many different shapes also. They come with different shapes and different sizes. Uh, so I hope you like this tutorial. It's a very simple and easy tutorial to create a dangler. So I hope you enjoyed it. So if you are not yet subscribed, do subscribe, like, share. And if you have anything to say, do comment. See you again.